There are two types of people. You. You might go home after a tiring day of school or work. You ring on the doorbell, and within a few seconds, someone comes to answer it. Who is it? Your parents, siblings, maybe even a friend. But instantly, you are enveloped in an endearing, enclosing embrace that you call home. You might follow the aroma that tickles your nostrils, or you might talk to someone for hours on end, though it's barely been five minutes. But we've all come home to that angry parent who's tapping their foot, eyes boring into your soul. I know what you've done today. I love you. Then there's that other type of person, the one you probably aren't. They go home after a tiring day of school or work. They ring on the doorbell. They ring again. The door grudgingly creaks open. A dark, deserted hallway stretches out into the oblivion they call home. Anxiously, they tiptoe inside, desperate not to make a single sound. They wait. You never there for me! You never were, you're useless! Or indeed, if you act so ineffectual, I'd actually be home for once. It starts again. The fragile flame of fear is ignited in their body. Screams of anger burst through the walls. The ignited flame trickles through their stomach. Tormented turbulence to shake the house. The trickling flame roars to their head. A pandemonium rushes down the stairs. His eyes, raging with vexation. Theirs, clouded with terror. Hot cheek, brutal shock, blackout. <coughs> Left on the floor, drowning in their tears. One in three women one in four men suffer from domestic abuse. One in five children are exposed to domestic violence. 19% of domestic abuse involves a gun. So why? Why do we call it a safe haven? <laughs> 